Peter Schumann up in Vermont with the Bread and Puppet Theater, his idea was large visual spectacle. A group of teachers came to me with the Bread and Puppet idea. And all they had to say was Bread and Puppet. And my next response was, you're going. Really nothing could have prepared me for the actual experience of being there and seeing it, which was amazing. We all came back so excited. Uh, you know, how do we create the kid version of this? At first, I, when we described Bread and Puppet and showed them pictures, um, I think they were fascinated, they were ex excited, but, but really weren't sold on the idea. And it was when they started building the puppets and applying the layers of color to their masks and droop, you know, draping their fabric um, on their pieces that, that they started to understand. This is also our old school art show. It's important for students to see themselves as artists, and when you see your piece on the wall as part of a group show, they take ownership and they take, you know, they feel like, wow, I'm an artist, I'm in a show, and they're very, very proud of it. She's somewhere else, so far and clear. Also, you're gonna have from the music department a lot of live music being played all night long. And it was a great opportunity to have a collaboration between the theater, the music department, and the art department. In front of this building are two big words, courage and kindness. And that's part of building character that we do at the school. And as an arts department, we feel very committed to supporting the mission of the school to help kids develop the best values, the best characteristics of their personality through the arts. In addition to being great artists, they're great people, they're great kids. So we do have these values that we're portraying in the presentations that were happening tonight. The uh, very smallest ones, the pre-K, have made butterfly wings, and they are um, gonna be hiding behind a giant caterpillar. And when we say, on your marks, get set, grow, the caterpillar will go away, and the butterflies will fly all over the quad. Second graders will be dancing and singing in their wearable art that they have made with fifth graders uh, accompanying them on xylophones and percussion instruments. Next you'll see fifth graders and fifth graders are collaborating on a piece around the concept of gratitude. Some of the fifth graders will be performing um, with these giant hands. Somebody came up with the idea of in sign language, this is thank you. Gratitude is something that's come up again and again and again amongst faculty and students as something that we value as a community. Then we're gonna see sixth grade come out. You're gonna see a very short act where there's gonna be an ocean scene. There's gonna be a storm that's going to hit a boat and then the sea creatures are gonna come and kind of try to save the boat out of kindness. The upper schoolers are making a gigantic bird. It'll be a 30-foot bird. And uh, the word that inspired the bird was courage, um, with the idea of spreading your wings to fly. I've got to and then there will be the upper school musicians will be singing, the choir students, and the kindergartners will be little birdies flapping underneath the large birdie. CA knows and realizes this, these kinds of experiences 
are what shapes kids. Being willing and having the courage to take that step and try something new, try, take a risk and, and see what happens. We obviously are sending a message about something that's important to us as a school right now, which is um, important characteristic traits um, of our students. CA is a wonderful school. Tonight is one of the examples that reveal to people why it's a, young, a wonderful school. Teachers, students, great activity, learning, passion, emotion, presentation. A school that provides those opportunities at a high regular level for young children as they grow up, that's a pretty good school.